WDTV, your source for news and information at Dayton High School. I'm Yvonne. And I'm Dayton. Last week, Alyssa had some fun with some students and teachers doing the Whisper Challenge. Let's check it out. So right now I'm here with Coach Bill and we're going to have different people come in here and we're going to do the Whisper Challenge. So basically what we're going to do is whoever's sitting here is going to put on the headphones and they're not going to be able to hear me. There's some music playing. And I'm going to be reading a phrase, and they're going to have to read my lips and figure out what I'm saying without hearing me. Okay, are you ready? Sure. All right, so you got to put your headphones on. <laughs> okay, okay, are you ready? SpongeBob. No. Oh, no. SpongeBob SquarePants. You found my keys? <laughs> the cat took them? Storage the bags? Miss Shannon said I don't have to go to school, Mommy. Stop with you. Sponge. This music's is really good. <laughs> Smell, Mom. Mom. <laughs> your mom. What about your mom? <laughs> square ball, square pants. Sponge ball, square pants. <laughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob. Square. Oh, I got SpongeBob. Square pants. Listening to Beyonce. Listen to me talk. I'm ready. Listening to Beyonce. If you didn't laugh when you said it, that would help. Listening to Beyonce. Uh, Listening listen. to, to Beyonce. Me talk. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna run this back. Here we go. Listen to Beyonce. Listen to me now. Listening. Listening. What? No. <laughs> Is that cheating? <laughs> Be honest. Be honest. Alright, alright, hold up. Listen. Listen. To. To. Alright, ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Listen. Listen. To listen to. Beyonce. 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 Yeah! Hey! That was really funny. Coach Bill was definitely my favorite. Dayton. Put these headphones on and see if you can read my lips. <laughs> Counselor's corner. What? Counselor's corner. Counts counselor? Coffee. Counselor's corner. Counselor's coffee? Counselor's corner. Oh! Counselor's corner! Jonathan has this next segment. I'm going to be interviewing six of the staff members here. Let's take a look. Hello, and I'm here with... Susan Potter. Miss... Mann. Mr. Ryan in the guidance office. Hey, guys. My name is Becky Blake. Miss Carter. Miss Cole. What do you do for students on a day-to-day -day basis? So I work with anything that's career exploration related or college exploration. So on a day-to-day -day basis, I might be working with students to help them line up a job shadow experience. Um, I work with a lot of students who already have a job and it kind of lines up with what their career goal is and we're getting work-based learning experiences set up for them. Um, work with every student in the school to get your individual graduation plan done and um, college exploration, different interest inventories or um, different assessments to help you figure out what you might be good at career-wise or what you might be interested in career-wise. So I get paid on a daily basis to say what you want to be when you grow up and help you figure that out. I'm the guidance clerk. I basically kind of manage the office in the guidance office. So I work with lots of students every day, which I love. Um, I work with mainly seniors here. We uh, do college transcripts, uh, plans after high school, um, all the transition stuff from high school to what, what you do after high school. Um, Mrs. Cole and I work together a lot in the office, but we spend a lot of time with students. We love it when students come by, um, even just to say hi. I also try to keep some candy here, you know, for students if they want to stop by and grab a mint sometime. But we love what we do. We love the students, and so make sure to come by and see us. Um, but any, anything with seniors I typically work with. Also like athletes with NCAA and some scholarship stuff and that kind of thing. I help with that too. I am the registrar, so I do the enrolling and the withdrawing. Do you have any special responsibilities that not a lot of guns counselors have? Uh, I handle a lot of the state scholarship stuff 
that's a lot of money, like Palmetto Fellows, um, some of those applications that are pretty detailed, and so I handle some of that. Um, I also handle some of the you know, advanced placement testing, some overall the AP testing for the school. That takes up a lot of time. Um, I work closely with Mr. Ryan on dealing with college um, applications and getting the transcripts out for seniors and then um, any time a student walks in I figure out who they need to see, what they're here for. I help with um, coordinating the school day SAT for our juniors um, for spring and I also am kind of over um, virtual SC which is the um, online um, classes that some of our, t our students here take. Well, the job description for a school counselor is really broad, uh, but I like to think that we serve as just an advocate for our students just to do anything we can to make them successful at Daniel High School. So you work with Daniel and also R.C. Edwards. Tell me a little bit what's that like? Okay, so I get to start working with the students from sixth grade. Um, so some of you will remember me from way back in sixth grade, and I get to work with you all the way through 12th grade. So I feel like I get to know students a lot better than most anybody else because I have you for seven years instead of just four years. When a student comes in your office, what do they usually ask for? We are helping with schedule changes. Um, Sometimes we are helping with relationships between teachers and students. Um, we are planning for graduation and for after graduation, where they're going to go to college. Um, but, you know, sometimes it's even for emotional health reasons. So uh, I like to think that we help make sure there's good collaboration between parents, teachers, students, administration, doing whatever we can to make sure um, that's a good relationship. A lot of them will come and ask about um, like job shadow opportunities, how to get something set up, or they might just come in to talk about, you know, I have no idea what I want to be when I grow up, how do I figure that out? So as we were interviewing you, we heard about a little, little unknown sort of in yeah. the midst. Um, special responsibility you have. Uh, you care to tell us a little bit about so, that? So I am responsible for keeping this machine going. This is the heart of the school. This is the coffee supply for all the teachers. And we go through mass quantities of coffee. So on a typical day, we'll probably use, probably go through two pounds. So we'll usually go through one bag a day. You can kind of see we have a little supply right here in this closet kind of where we keep our coffee supply. And so every day we have to restock. Um, so we have like regular coffee, we have the decaffeinated, we've got hot chocolate. And so keeping this machine going is like super important because if we ever lose coffee in this place, it's gonna be a bad situation. Did you know that the teachers drink that much coffee? No, that's crazy. But now I know where to go if I have a problem. Yeah, Mr. Dennis and Mr. Welch need, might need to go talk about how spicy that jerky was. Hello, my name is Maddie, and this is a segment we stole from a TV show called Hot Ones. Today I'm here with Mr. Dennis and Mr. Welch, and they'll be going to be answering a couple questions about their fellow teachers while eating some spicy jerky. The teachers Mr. Dennis has to choose from are Miss Shop, Miss Quackenbush, Miss Norris, and Mr. Bates. And Mr. Wells has to choose from Mr. Akers, Mr. Taylors, Coach Bill, and Coach Ed. As you can see here, we have four levels of heat. Hot, habanero, ghost pepper, and Carolina Reaper. Every time you get a question wrong, you have to move up in heat levels. Do either of you not like heat? Not a fan. <laughs> not a fan. I thought it was. We'll, we'll find out. <laughs> okay, let's get right into it. The first question easy. What's your name, where are you from, and what do you teach? I'm uh, Charlton Dennis, I'm from Central South Carolina, and I teach uh, Algebra 2 in pre -cal. And I'm Ryan Welch, and I'm from Spartanburg, South Carolina, and I teach human geography. Now for the real questions. Mr. Dennis, which teacher was adopted? Out of the four? Oh, <laughs> oh I know this one. Miss Norris. <laughs> Who grew up in 10 different towns in 25 different houses? 
gonna say Coach Bill. That's right. Correct. <clears throat> okay. Who despises lettuce and is terrified of drowning? Walking bush? That is incorrect. <sighs> it is Mr. Bates. Oh, fine. So you're going with the hat. Not too bad. Not too bad. I can handle that. Which teacher has been to 10 different countries? I'm going to go with Bakers. Who has bathed and swam in the Amazon River and won third place in the national puppet making competition? Well, that's got to be Miss Quad Bush, right? That is incorrect. You got it. It's a wish drop. <laughs> <laughs> that one was a little hot after a while. Oh, he's taking big bites. Oh my gosh. Watch go some kick to it. Yo. Are you good? I'm gonna power through it though. Yeah. Okay. Who has worked as a garbage man? Man, um I'm gonna go with Crochet. That is incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> it was Mr. Taylor. Oh. I'm talking about. Okay. Can get these right though. <laughs> he used to live in Canada and has a dog named Layla. That's Miss Quack and Bush. Correct. <laughs> Which teacher was born in Honolulu, Hawaii? Oh gosh. <laughs> Why does one go with the same guess for getting coach Correct. Who enjoys playing volleyball and making their own recipes? Michelle. That is incorrect. <laughs> she's the oh, cooking teacher. teacher. It's Miss Norris. Ghost Pepper. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which teacher once built a 40 foot climbing wall? That is incorrect. <laughs> 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 Mr. Akers. Oh, so I'm going to get a wimpy bite. <laughs> I'm pretty warm. Who has worked for your dad? <laughs> for my dad? <laughs> yeah, I think. Miss Shop. That is correct. Wow. Who has stayed 24 hours in a Waffle House? Sounds like a Coach Bill story. <laughs> That is not a good choice, so that is Mr. Taylor. Mr. Taylor. Nobody gets this in? Yeah. That's a ghost pepper. Do this. Which teacher plays the piano at their church? <coughs> is, this a, is this a trick question? No. I think I know the right answer. But I kind of want to guess it wrong just to try <laughs> Carolina Reaper. <coughs> so my fake answer, which is my real answer, I'm gonna go with Miss Walking Bush, but I'm really gonna answer the shop. That is incorrect. But it was Miss Walking Bush, right? Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <You're right. laughs> For the views. Oh, and <gasps> we taste to it too. It's kind of nice. A little teriyaki in there. <laughs> well, that's Coach Bill. But I'm gonna go ahead and try it anyways. Well, that officially concludes it. I'm Maddie, this is Mr. Dennis, this is Mr. Welch, and this has been Hot Ones. Let's take it back to the desk. Okay. Wow, I could never eat spicy jerky like that. Yeah, me either. I heard Miss Potters ate some of that like it's nothing. Yeah, I heard Miss Carter tried some, and she ran as fast as she could to the water fountain. That was really funny. Wait, wait, you forgot about Spirit Week next week. <laughs> We're going to start off with Monday being pajama day where you wear your pajamas to school. Tuesday is jersey day where you wear your jersey from your favorite team. Wednesday is holiday day where you dress up as any holiday you please. Thursday is decades day. Dress up as any decade. <laughs> and Friday is going to be a blackout where it's homecoming and we play Seneca. So. Another thing to keep, out, keep an eye out for is the food drive we're doing all week long against Seneca. Turn all your food into your third period class, and the third period class with the most food collected will win a prize. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Took the bell way down to your hood. Uh, say you was off the hood. Ever since we've been in good. Connecting that work, got a jug. Keep yeah. them honey coming. Rocking around the Christmas tree at the. It's a match. It's a
the monster man. The monster man. It was a graveyard smash. He's the man. It caught on. Slamming her in your house, put on a line like mankind, it ain't no doubt. Move like this, you broke up, that's on the under. Take a dip like Jeff and his brother. Finish your move, make sure. Well, that's about it for this edition of DWD TV.